free flap. Disasters do happen with microkeratoma and especially when the patient is very uncooperative. So this is the patient and when on the reverse pass the patient suddenly gave a jerk and there was a free flap. So as you see here we were lucky to achieve the right apposition. So we can make out the epithelial surface up and we can maintain the position of the flap. So what we decide here is to clear off the blood and once this is removed we can take the flap and slightly we think on to proceed with the exam or ablation and we keep the flap in such a way so that the flap position is not missed. The bed is cleaned and we plan to continue with the exam or ablation. As you see here the exam or ablation is done. The patient still remains uncooperative and then after washing the bed we gradually pull the flap back to its position and mind the orientation of the flap remains here we think of using the double sponge technique to dry and reposition the flap so very gently we go underneath and wash the bed as well the fluid is very delicately used and we use one marrow sp sponge in the left hand and dry and pull with the right hand and then hold with the right and then wipe with the left hand as well. So in this way the double sponge technique helps in giving us a good apposition of the free flap. Now the dry time in the free flaps is usually ideally should be double the time so we usually keep it for around three to four minutes and once this is done we apply a bandage contact lens keep the patient waiting in the OPD for at least two hours to just have a relook on the slit lamp thank you